Hi guys, this is Sean Donahoe, and I'm going to show you a really cool little RSS trick today. Now, this is a follow-up kind of from the other day when I released a video about using an RSS feed for backlinks. And one question I got asked, which was pretty cool, was how can I create an RSS feed when there's no RSS feed to grab? Well, that's a bloody good question. So um, what I'm going to do today is show you the technique I use to grab RSS feeds or create RSS feeds out of nothing. Now, there's many applications for this. Maybe you want to create a uh, list of affiliate products or something like that and have your affiliate ID in there. There's all sorts of things you can do. Uh, maybe you want to use it for auto blogging or maybe some drip feeding some content into your Twitter like I do. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you a very cool little trick using a plugin which is for Firefox called DapperFox. Now you can get this from open.dapper.net forward slash DapperFox. Now you can get this from the um, regular Mozilla add-ons repository, but it'll tell you that it's not compatible with the latest version of Firefox. Well, I'm on the latest version of Firefox and it works fine, but uh, you won't be able to install it from the regular Mozilla place. You have to get it from here and I'll show you in a moment. It just works fine. So what I'm going to do right now is I want to show you um, an example of creating an RSS feed. Now, for many article directories, we you just use this as an example today, and you'll see how you can apply it to other strategies. But uh, say, for example, I went to a category and I wanted to grab something specific. I could go to a category and get an RSS feed for that category. But, you know, sometimes that's not enough. You want to go a little more specific than the categories they give you. Maybe you want to have it based on a keyword. Well, what you can do is I'm going to show you a very cool little trick here. Now, we could use the internal search here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and do a regular Google search. And say, for example, I went site easingarticles.com because I only want articles from easing articles. And then I want my keyword in quotes. So, for example, Italian cooking. Okay, very specific cookie. Okay, well, let's go for the Italian cookie, shall we? Uh, so there we go, Italian cooking, and I'll just do a Google search. Now, I've got Google Instant turned off. You really need it off for this trick, okay, or this tactic. And you can usually do that by turning it off up in the top right corner here. Now, this will show you some recent stuff, but it's all over the place. What I want to do is have it date specific, because I want the most recent stuff, obviously. Now, you can't do this within easy articles, and that's why Google is your best friend for this kind of thing. So we've got site, colon, easyinarticles.com, our keyword in quotes. But if you come over here to more, actually more search tools, I want stuff that's been found in the last 24 hours, that's been indexed by Google in the last 24 hours. Okay, nothing found. So let's do the past week. Okay, there's only one item. So let's go the past month and see what's come up. And we can see there's a few items. So this is a good start. Now, this will automatically be updated. You'll see as new items are coming in. But you know, this is a bit narrow. So let me just change it to a more broad keyword. Say acne. OK, let's let's go that way. And then we'll, we'll drop that down to the past week. And you know what? Let's change it to the past 24 hours. There we go. That's a little more broad scope. Um, you know, that just shows, goes to show that Italian cooking there isn't much happening with easy articles for content, so you might have to source this from many other article directories. So anyway, let me do this. Now you can see we've got this, and we're all good to go. Now you see I've got a new icon up in this top corner, one you probably don't have until you install the icon, um, until you install DapperFox, should I say. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on that, or actually left-click on it, and then create a DAP for this page. So that will open up a new tab, and this loads it into what's called the DAP factory. Now, what this does, it allows you to create all sorts of formatted content from a web page. Now, in this case, we can create either an XML, an RSS feed, a Google gadget, and all sorts of cool stuff. What we want is an RSS feed. So once you do that, click Next Step, and what's going to happen is it's going to load this into a kind of window here so you can see everything. Now, here's the thing. You need to give the system 
um, samples. So we need to add it to basket. So we'll get this current page and add it to basket. You can see it's added it there. Then you need to go to page two, or if this is on a site like Amazon or eBay or what have you, you know, you'd, you'd give it another sample page of a listing and it works better with listings. So you can see here's the second one. So we'll just go ahead and add the page. Okay, cool. Now, now that we're done, you see it's still on the past 24 hours. So anything that's been indexed in the last 24 hours, perfect. And then what we do now is go to the next step. It's analyzing the pages and it does a little bit of ID dropping. You can go through this demo if you want, but I'm gonna give you the summary here. So we can see that we have a category here we don't really want. So let's see, we can grab that. And then that is good. Now we wanna scan through it because we're just grabbing the title. You see how it blocks everything out? So we wanna make sure we've got everything we want. Okay, that's good, that's just titles. You can see the titles here. So we'll save field, we'll call that title. And then we'll go grab the description. See, it takes a moment to think about it. Now you see it's grabbed the time. We unclick that, we just click it again and it will unselect it. But it, notice that also unselected the URL. So here we go, we've got our descriptions. We'll save that as item text and description. Now we're pretty much done. What we do now, is next step and you can see it's given the title and the synopsis for the description and that links over directly to if I roll over here you might be able to see in the lower left corner easynarticles.com the best way to get rid of acne for good so we're all good to go so we go next step and then you just sign in actually you know what we'll create a password here our username, so I as if we didn't have one, so we'll just call this Sean's DAP and uh, give it my username and password. Should have logged in first. Creating account is free, just so you know, and then we'll just call this Ezine RSS acne and uh, we'll just say this is a private one so you only you have access to it hit save and then it just takes a second to apply it item text it wants to make sure you've got the uh, description fixed you can leave the date published empty and then here is our link now it's a bloody long link I'll tell you right now so you see, that's a really long link. So anyway, if I just click on that, there you go. There is an RSS feed out of an HTML page, actually in this case, Google results, that will automatically update and ready to rock for you. So there you go. That's how you create an RSS feed out of any HTML page in just a few simple clicks. Hope you enjoyed this little tip. Go ahead, look at our other videos. Make sure you subscribe because we're releasing cool stuff all the time. And I know you're going to get a lot of value out of this. So there you go. See you in a new video very soon.